faculty at Carnegie Mellon Preparatory School. Also teaches at Hope Academy and Sinton Center for Center Sinton Center School in Music in Pittsburgh. Sorry, a little tongue twister there. She is the music director at First United Methodist Church in Bridgeville and Washington, Pennsylvania, and she's traveling here from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But she's not originally from Pittsburgh. Helga, tell us where you're from originally and about your journey to the states. So I'm from uh, Transylvania, which is a region in Romania the um, the middle part of Romania mm -hmm. and um, I came to Pittsburgh in 2008 and I've been living there since since then yeah what brought you to the states how'd you, you know, I what? came to study um, first I started with my master's at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh and I went onward for an artist diploma program and then a DMA in piano performance. Great, great. And that brought you here to the States, and you've been staying with us ever since. Yes. So you've been here about 12 years, you said, I think? Pretty much, yes. Uh, 2008, so that's 12 years. Wow, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad, we're glad you're here in this Thank region. You. We like uh, you being here. And uh, as you said to us off air, uh, you may have some friends in Romania tuning in today. Yes, I'm pretty sure my brother and my mom is watching because they already texted me. So Okay, good. All right, so they'll be tuning in. They'll be watching. We've got a live stream going on Facebook. We've got uh, streaming on our website, wvpublic.org, for audio. And we also are broadcasting on the radio. So we've got all sorts of ways to tune in right now. Um, so you also studied at West Virginia University recently. Tell us about that experience in Morgantown. Right. So I went there uh, for my DMA in piano performance, and I studied with Peter Amstutz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great um, professor. Yeah, so actually I will be meeting him on the ba on the way back to Pittsburgh. <laughs> okay, when you're going up I-79. <laughs> I haven't seen him for a while, so That's I'm great. excited to, to see him again. Yeah, it's always good to see past professors, and yes. you'll be going up I-79. It's on the way. Why not yes. stop off in Morgantown? It's just one minute on <laughs> the highway. <laughs> right, so. right, exactly. So um, you'll be going to Morgantown, and so you've studied there uh, for a while, and um, you know, what did you think of Morgantown, That's the city? Well, I actually, I was living in Pittsburgh oh, and when I was studying there. I was just commuting. Um, I didn't have many classes, so I was driving to Morgantown twice a week. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, that's, so that's, that's not an easy I drive. I learned my driving skills got a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. That's not uh, an easy drive. That's at least that an hour. four years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's a tough little commute there, getting back and forth between Morgantown and Pittsburgh. Um, so... You know, when you were growing up uh, back in Romania, what's were some of the pieces and composers you grew up listening to? What are what are some of your influences? So, well, I started at early age, at age seven, to play piano in uh, in a high school of arts in my hometown, and um, we were taught classical music. Oh uh, yeah. So yes, I I learned a lot of Mozart. That was my favorite composer, even now. Um, but I, on the sideways, I also like to listen uh different kind of bands. Like, mm -hmm. I was a big Muse fan. Oh, I love Muse. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I went uh, to a couple of their concerts. Yeah, me too. Um, and Pearl Jam. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Pearl Jam's awesome too. So yeah. That's great. Uh, yeah. You don't always have to just listen to, you know, classical, you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, even you. in... Now when I, when I compose, I improvise. I still have the influence of of the what I used to listen. Right, right, and that could be so, some rock, maybe some Mozart. You know, who knows yeah. what? You know, and sometimes it just comes up. I don't even plan for it, but right, um, right. Yeah. And so you know, you've said you compose, and now you've made albums. So tell us about the albums that you have made. So this, uh, I started working on it in two thousand nineteen. And it was uh, around December um, when I I started working on the first piece, what's called Space Christmas. Mm -hmm. So that's why I called it Space Christmas, because it was around Christmas time, but actually it does not have to do much with Christmas. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's not like Christmas songs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, so after the Space Christmas, I... You know, I started having fun and 
I worked on even more pieces and it ended up becoming nine of my own pieces and I decided to record them. So I went to a, a church recording studio, which is an amazing place in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. uh, to record things. And, um, you know, I recorded and I was a little bit um, shy to put it outside because I have a lot of musician friends and to put all my music out, my own music, I was a little bit skeptical. Maybe I was that I would get some uh, bad judgments. Yeah, but yeah. actually, it ended up, ended up pretty well. So okay. it is always scary putting yourself out there. But you know, yeah. I've listened to your album and it sounds great. And Thank you know, you. it's on YouTube for anybody who wants to check out "Space Christmas" by Helga Scheiber. And she's going to be performing some of those selections today. So what do you have for us first? First is my favorite from the album. It's called "Non-Dualism." Um, I like the melody because it's kind of like a lullaby. Mm -hmm. It's a, a descending melody line. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have not. It's not only one of my favorite, but this is the the melody line uh, that I mostly like in this one. Okay, well, let's take a listen to non dualism. And this is from the album Space Christmas. And when Helga's ready, she's going to be taking it away here live in our studios on the piano.
wonderful music there, Helga. And that's yeah. by her, that's uh, composed by Helga. Um, and so, you know, she's been creating this album and has that track that was called Non Dualism and uh, really beautiful stuff. And, you know, I got to ask, uh, what do you have a lot of theory training or, you know, do you just go by ear or by studying or how did you, you know, well, come up I... with some of those harmonies? I started learning theory in the in my high school, uh, which was uh, pretty intense. We had a lot of uh, solfege and counterpoint, and um, so I got a really good base um, of you know composing and yeah learning. Well, about that's good it. to start in high school, starting starting out early. A lot yeah. of people start in college, you know, with theory and things, and mm -hmm. um, so that's good that you've been having that. And then you, I assume you've been uh, studying in college and then in, in doctor oh, yeah. school and in grad school and things like that so yes i studied also in the masters i i had counterpoint class mm -hmm. um analysis class and then it was uh even more at the dma program right yeah and at so. west virginia yeah and um yeah those uh, harmonies are very advanced you know they're really wonderful so i'm um, uh, you know <laughs> been you. really enjoying that um, so we can move on to our second piece, and I think this is the title track from the album, correct? Right. Space, this, Tri Space Christmas. This is called Space Christmas, so I really like the vibraphone sound. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's why um, I and I also thought it would make a little bit give a more a, a Christmas sound mm -hmm. if I add the vibraphone sound. Sort of more bell like. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. and I also used it in different couple other pieces the, the vibraphone sound okay yeah well um yeah let's take it away we'll hear the vibraphone sound on this one and you know sort of gives us a little more spacier uh feeling to it and uh definitely a little bit more of a christmas sound so let's go ahead and take away with the title track here space christmas from the album space christmas <laughs>
Very nice work there. That was Space Christmas, and that was from the album Space Christmas, the title track from that album. And you used the vibraphone setting there on our keyboard, which is really nice. And then you ended on the lowest <laughs> note and the highest note that you right. could possibly end on on the keyboard. <laughs> well, I, I like um, opposites, so uh-huh. I thought it would be... <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. You got the low A there, and I guess the... What, yeah, the high E or C something? C, a. okay. So you got a little mi- minor third, about, uh, what, six octaves, seven octaves apart? Yeah, like on that. this piano. Maybe more. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you mentioned, you know, the piano. This piano, I mean, obviously is different than the one you used to record on. What did you use to record that track? Um, um, I used the keyboard at the recording studio mm-hmm. because, obviously, the piano does not sound like a... Yeah, the vibraphone sound. Yeah, right. so it ended up pretty well, and after the mastering, it you know it came out even better. Yeah, right. What did what do you normally play on? You know what what do you normally record on, or uh, what what piano do you use? Um, so at the recording uh, studio, we used the Yamaha. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Yamahas are very nice. I don't remember what number it was, but mm-hmm. it was a really good piano. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I at home, I I study on a Baldwin. Okay, yeah. I practice on a Baldwin upright. Oh, uh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. So, um, yeah, so you, of course, you know, the uh, real piano, of course, you know, has a little bit better feel to it. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, this Yamaha we have here, the P515, you know, is a really spectacular, real, realistic sounding piano with right. weighted keys and everything. So and we're getting we're getting close here um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the real thing. A lovely piece there. Love the uh, chromatic lines and, you know, in the right hand, you know, I Thank noticed you. you got more and more dense with the notes as it went along. And so there'd be a lot of activity, you know, um, was that hard to work up to or was that just come out like no. pretty naturally? Actually, this piece, it just I think I worked on it like a day or two. It just, the ideas came, I don't even know from where, but <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I space. liked it. <laughs> maybe space. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That's great. Well, you, sometimes you just don't know where, where the ideas come yeah. from, and so it's great to have, um, you know, the ideas just to go. And so we've, um, we're on live here on our uh, Facebook page. We have our live stream. Raphael says, very much enjoying your performance. So we have, you know, people commenting. Thank you. Got a text from Patricia saying this is entrancing. So you're doing great oh, here. Nice. And we got we got to have a little audience feedback, you know, um, since we can't have a live audience here in the studio. Um, so moving on, do you want to move on to our next selection here? Sure. The next piece is called Light and Shadow. Um, a lot of people like this piece who listen my album. Um, actually, I. Um, the inspiration came from uh, Mandelson, uh, Songs Without Words. I was just oh, sight reading a yeah. couple of those pieces. And um, the main team, um, I got the idea from Mandelson. And I named it Light and Shadow because um, it's based on one melody. So I imagine that, uh, you know, the second time when it comes and the third time, it's basically... Um, a shadow of the first uh, oh, okay, yeah. team. Right, right, right. Instead of calling a variation, I call it light and shadow. Yeah, that's an interesting... So you have the uh, sort of light theme and then a, a shadow variation of it. Okay. Right. All right. Well, let's take... Let's hear Let's hear the, the light and shadow here. And this is all music composed by Helga Scheibert and performed here live in our studios.
beautifully done there. That was light and Thank shadow. You. And you can tell the difference between the two themes. You know, one has that flowing, beautiful Mendelssohn sort of sound to it. And the other one is the staccato sort of minor kind of sound to it. You know, what, what, what drew you to that? How did you come across that? Uh, well, I just, uh, in each piece, I try to add a, a section or a part which is uh, different from the first one. so it's if it starts like a slower one i try to add more like a with a movement mm -hmm. or if it's in a major i try to add like in a minor right key. yeah you said you like opposites so that makes yeah. a lot of sense <laughs> that makes a lot of sense and plus it, it right. pushes the dynamic of the song along so mm -hmm. you know you know there's a good narrative to it um, beautiful music there this is all composed and performed here by helga scheibert in our studios live right now and we're getting some good comments andrew says it is gorgeous as always. And then uh, on YouTube, we had a comment. Uh, it says, kind regards from an old university colleague from Romania. Glad oh. to see you doing so well and thriving. Keep up the good work. Uh, host Remus. Nice. I, don't, I don't know if you know that name. but Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, posted that on YouTube. So you're getting, we're getting a, going okay. international right now. Yeah, August, nice. So. <laughs> so that's so great. Um, beautiful work. And glad to hear we're, um, we're crossing a... Uh, uh, to, to different continents right now. So. <laughs> nice. um, so that was Light and Shadow, and that's also from the album Space Christmas. And then we have one more from this album called Gravity. Yes, yeah, so um, Gravity also has uh, two different sections. Okay, two um, different contrasts. Yeah, things. a okay. little bit of contrast in mm -hmm. that too. Okay, so. well, let's take a listen to Gravity, and this will be the final selection from this album space christmas again helga scheibert performing live in our studios
wonderful job there. That's a lot of notes there. My gosh. That was great. That was Gravity by Helga Scheibert, performed live by Helga Scheibert. And she did a great job there. And um, some of it with that left hand churning bass line so reminds me of Bach or something. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that's what, uh, yeah. If I want to say a couple of words about this piece, mm -hmm. I definitely got inspired on Bach. Yeah. And actually, the middle part. Uh, that that's from coming from Muse. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the Muse influence. <laughs> and I've been and actually, for that. I I um, came up with this melody when I was like a teenager. Oh, so okay. It, since then, it, it's been in my head. So I thought this would be a right. good part to put it in. Right, that's include. great. Yeah, sometimes you just have bricks laying around to build your house with. You know, <laughs> maybe from right. maybe from decades ago, maybe from yesterday. You know, but you're still building that house and. You know, that's so great that that piece Gravity, I mean, you know, sometimes that bass line was churning and it felt like we were being pulled to earth. And then sometimes the bass line would let up and just do whole notes and it felt like you were floating away. So it was kind of made sense with the title of the piece Gravity there. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, so great job there. Our, uh, we have some great comments coming to us. Uh, Joe Taggett said some of the piece, he was talking about Light and, dark, light and Shadow. Um, he says something reminds me of bar talk, which oh. is cool. Yeah. Um, Walt says nice to hear the result of the contribution of the Friends of West Virginia Public Broadcasting to make this uh, performance and other performances a reality. So we of course want to thank them, and of course um, want to thank Eddie Isom for being a champion of the live performances, and he's running the cameras right now behind us. Um, so you know we've got some great support here to make these things all possible for you to enjoy. And now we should turn to the next album. We have Mirror Image. So this hasn't been released yet, but you've got to record it, correct? Yes. I actually finished the recording last week. Um, okay, so yeah. I have to uh, do the mastering on it. and uh, But that should be out in a month, Great. maybe. Great. Do you release it on physical CD? Are you just doing online? Or how do you? How could we find I'm it? I'm doing the, the digital distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Maybe if I will see about the the, digi the, the physical the CD. physicals. I mean, yeah. not a lot of people listen to it anymore. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I still in the car well, sometimes, just okay. throw it in there, you know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's yeah. No, that's a tough decision because you don't you don't really know um, what people are you know mostly tuned into. Um, but it definitely will be on YouTube and probably Amazon and Spotify. I imagine all those things. Here right up. Okay. yeah great well we'll make sure yeah. to be on the lookout for that and i'll make sure to mention that and maybe oh, play some tracks great. too Thanks. um so this is called mirror image and you have your first track you want to perform for us is yellow and white so we're right. going to talk about that yellow yeah do you want to talk a little bit about that sure. you have anything you um, want to say? well i usually come up with the pieces before the titles so uh the, this title came to me when i was driving one time and uh, it was just right after a snow. It was around January or December. So, um, and I saw the sun and the snow, and it was so pretty. And I thought this would match my piece. Okay, beautiful, <laughs> great. All right, well, let's take a listen to "Yellow and White" from the album "Mirror Image," composed and performed here by Helga Scheibert. <laughs>
Great music there. That was Yellow and White by Helga Scheiber, performed here live in our studios from her album Mirror Image. And, you know, that had some really uh, lush harmonies there. And I don't know, sometimes it reminds me of, I don't know if you ever played the game Final Fantasy, or any of the Final Fantasy, or have heard of those, but they have this wonderful like sort of bell-like music in them a lot of times. And I feel like um, some of that music sounds like it. So um, great job there. Thank you. On that. And, you know, it's great to have you here in the studio. So thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um, And uh, one of our comments uh, says, wonderful music. Great job, sis, by Willie Scheibert. So it must be (laughs) someone related to you. It must be your brother. (laughs) Thank you, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Where is he listening from? He he lives in uh, Cluj-Napoca, which is in Romania. Oh, great. Great. International here. That's great. (laughs) Um, all right, so moving on, we have two more selections. We got about 10 minutes to go here. And this next one is called Olivia and Ralph. And who are these two people? So uh, Olivia is my niece, and Ralph is my uh, nephew, actually, my brother's uh, kid. So okay. uh, I wrote this piece for them. Um, and uh, I, Olivia is always dancing, so I thought this part. Um, would uh, describe her mm-hmm. oh, which so is a like bouncy, a dance like a yeah. waltzy yeah a waltzy <laughs> dancey kind of bouncing right. feeling great so okay well let's take a listen to olivia and ralph performed here live in our studios by helga scheibert <laughs> Thank you. 
cool. I love the like different harmonies conflicting there, but sounding you know still consonant. Um, I heard the minor third against the major third a few times throughout <laughs> that, and that reminds me of the Ravel piano concerto. Oh, about. I listen to a lot of Ravel, I so you Ravel. got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the winner. I, what do I win? Um, great. <laughs> I love Ravel, so that's a, I, I immediately picked that. I was like, oh, oh well, that concerto. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think I won that contest. Um, well, that was beautiful. That was Olivia and Ralph, and you can hear the bounciness, you know, of the of the uh, your niece and nephew. Yeah, and there. try not to be serious on this because yeah <laughs> they're play very playful and yeah lighthearted, fun yeah. sort of upbeat yeah. um that's great love that music there uh from the album mirror image and you have one more piece right for us today right and this is called blue vibrations we have about five minutes i assume it's under five minutes right mm, it's about five minutes okay all you right. want me to cut it well, short no, or? Yeah, i mean what if you can but no don't just do what you gotta okay, do okay do what you do faster. <laughs> yeah okay <laughs>
beautiful job there and just in time too well done that was blue vibrations from the album mirror image composed by helga scheibert and performed here live in our studio and wonderful job two albums there we heard from space christmas which is out now and then mirror image which will be out soon right and so be sure and be on the lookout for that you can find these albums um, on YouTube, you can find them on Amazon, I think, and stuff like that. Spotify, I assume. Yeah, Spotify, YouTube, iTunes. Yeah, great. So, Bandcamp. Okay, great. And <laughs> All the other you ones. can always and you can check out the rest of this live performance too. It'll be on our Facebook t- page for some time. And so, um, Helga, I just want to say thank you so much for coming and joining us this afternoon and performing live for us. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so that was Helga Scheibert and. We're going to have to turn to 1A now here on WVPB Charleston, WVBY Beckley, WVBL Bluefield, WVPW Buchanan, WVWV Huntington, WVP Martinsburg, WVKM81, WVPM Morgantown, WVPG Parkersburg, WVDS Petersburg, WVWS Webster Springs, WVMP Wheeling, and we're online at WVPublic.org. Live from NPR.